All right, everyone. Um, just going to kind of talk about how you read and use um, this new program here. All right. So you'll notice at the bottom, there's a number of tabs. We have no equipment warm up. We have equipment mod warm up, which means modification, equipment modification, no equipment strength, equipment modification strength, and some conditioning over here. Okay. So ideally, you do all of the equipment modification warm up and you do all of the equipment modification strength work. Okay. But I've created this so that you can mix and match everything. Okay. So um, we'll start with talking about the warm up. All right. So you have your warm up here. Okay. It should take about eight minutes be a little bit more but not too much longer to watch the video on the warm-up all you do is click here all right click on the link it'll bring you to the warm-up page um, at on YouTube of Willis and strength okay so um, when you've done with the with the movement prep the warm-up okay you'll move on to whatever day it is right day one day two, day three, day four, okay, corresponds with your lift. So if it's day one, you're gonna do day one plyos and speed technique, or day one plyos and speed technique. Really the biggest difference, the only difference between the no equipment warm-up and the equipment modification warm-up is that in our lower body plyos, in the equipment warm-up, we're doing more jumps as opposed to the no equipment warm-up where we're doing more sprinting type plyometrics. That's because if you don't have equipment at home like dumbbells or barbells, um, you will be doing more jumping exercises for your A1 exercises, right? Through here, okay? So, we do day one plyos, right? We do one set of eight of the lower body exercise, and then we do one set of, or um, then we do one set of our upper body exercise, right? This is the sets and the reps here. Sets and the reps. All right, then you go back up. Lower body exercise, half kneeling sprint start. Then you go up body exercise, the rotational soccer ball throw. All right, if you wanna see any one of these exercises, for this exercise, okay, you click speed technique for these exercises. And for our throws, our upper body, you click plyometrics. It'll bring you to a list, it'll or bring you to a, a number of videos on YouTube. You just scroll down and find the exact name of the exercise. So when you've done, let's say for example, four sets of one in our half kneeling sprint and three sets of six on each side in our um, rotational soccer ball throw, then you'll move on to your speed work. Okay, so speed work, just a little bit of speed technique training. All right, um, so the exercise, this should take, you know, five to 10, five minutes, eight minutes max, the whole warm up maybe about 20 minutes long, okay? So we have our linear speed work for day one. We're doing wall drill, right? We don't know what wall drill is, boom. We click the link speed technique and look for wall drill one up, one down in the list of videos, all right? Then I'll show you how to do it. We do three by 10 on each leg, all right? Day two, we got one shuffle to sway, stop and sprint. You look that up, right? And so on and so forth. All right, so all of the videos are will be in YouTube by just clicking um, that link there. Okay? Nope. Very similar in our um, equipment modification warm up. Our speed work is, our throws are the same thing. Really, the only difference is our plyos, our lower body plyos, 
right? We have jumping exercises here because you can do, you know, a dumbbell push press or a dumbbell swing um, instead of jumping exercises here. All right, so getting on to our strength work. So this is the no equipment program, as you can see. How this works, you have A block, you have B block, and you have C block, all right, C block's here, okay? That's all under day one. Day one, week one, week two, week three. So first time I do this lift, I'm gonna do day one, week one, all right? Every time I see a box here with a number, that's a set. So I do power skip four times. When I've done power skip four times, I move on to adductor mode, okay? When I do adductor mode 10 times, I move back. I do power skip again, I go back to A2 adductor mode, right? So it's like a circuit, boom, 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 boom. All right, when I've completed four sets of power skip and three sets of adductor mode, I move on to B block, okay? So I do, <clears throat> in B block, it's a circuit as well, except for this time I have three exercises, right? So we're going tempo reverse lunge with slider by 10, front plank body saw by 10, sheet inverted row by 15, okay? And then I go back, I repeat, boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> repeat, boom, boom, boom. All right, when you're all done, you've done all of them, you can use these boxes here to track if you use weight or you use you know, a backpack with books, you can say three books in there, right? You can type three books. Okay, whatever, it, whatever you need to do to help track your progress. Okay, when you're done with B block, you go to C block. So you'll notice that there's links here, right? So that again, will bring you to the playlist for that specific exercise. So if I wanna know how to do low, uh, tempo RDL with suitcase or backpack, okay, all I do is I click lower body and it'll bring me to the, lift, the, the playlist on YouTube. Okay, from there, I can scroll down and find my exercise. So like I said, that's the no equipment ex <coughs> lift, excuse me. Ideally, we do the equipment modifications lift, all right? This is only possible, it's only possible to do this lift if you have some dumbbells, um, a band, uh, and really that's all you need, dumbbells. A uh, band is, is you know, optional. Um, you could use a band instead of dumbbells as well um, for a lot of the things, okay? But um, mainly we need dumbbells or barbells, okay? So if you don't have these and we're doing the no equipment lift, ideally we do the equipment lift. So if you have a couple dumbbells, right? And you know that you can do, uh, you know, you have enough weight to do dumbbell or three point dumbbell row, right? I know I dumbbell row 65 pounds. Okay. I have a 65 pound dumbbell at home at my disposal. So I can do the no equipment strength lift right? For everything else, except B3 on day one, sheet inverted row, I can switch sheet inverted row with three point dumbbell row, B3 on day one, right? Each of these exercises, let's say uh, B1 day three, I could take B1 day three on the equipment modifications lift and stick it in to, to be one on day three in the no equipment modifications lift, right? They're, they're very, very, uh, they're all replaceable. They're all switchable, okay? So 
if you have a dumbbell, mix and match a few of those exercises uh, to, to make it a little bit more challenging. If you don't have equipment, the no equipment strength lift will be great for you. All right. Some body weight stuff and you can use some, you know, things, implements you have laying around the house. All right. Some of you have traditional strength equipment. So go ahead and use this, this, this lift here. Okay. Conditioning. It's a little bit built up from the last conditioning I sent you. Okay. Um, you know, it says a hundred yards is the, is the longest you'll need in, in one direction. That's not mandatory. If you only have 50 yards, then do the hundred yard sprints for 50 yards instead of a hundred yards. May it just do more, right? Instead of doing five, do eight or 10, right? The distance isn't the most important thing. It's, it's how fast you're moving and your rest times, right? So if you're um, doing a hundred, uh, you know, 50 yard shuttles instead of a hundred yard shuttles, let's maybe lower that rest a little bit. So instead of 30 seconds, go every 20 seconds, all right? Cause it's shorter time that you're running. Okay, um, if you only have eight yards, right? This this means the ten star means to turn at ten, right? And that's what it says up here. Um, but if you only have eight yards, then do eight yards. So it would be a sixteen yard shuttle. That's fine. Okay, so make it work. Just work around it if you can be safe, right? Um, you know, you could use the sidewalk, your driveway, your your a yard, right? Uh, that is again, if you can be safe. All of this. That's what that means. If you can be safe, um, then you can you can uh, perform all this stuff. All right, most of it's inside, so um, you know that you can maintain your safety that way. Um, but that's the key: being safe. Okay, so again, this is uh, um, this is the at home program. Let me know if you have questions or concerns. Um, and as always, uh, there is availability for remote coaching, right? Send me an email um, with a video. Uh, let's Zoom chat, okay? Let's connect. That's not mandatory, of course, but um, you know, if, if you wanna continue to work, let's do so, all right? Be well, everyone.